In the kitchen now on Good Things Utah, and we are talking about desserts with Trisha Simpson. She is an author and a chef, which I love the combination that you can read about in her brand new book that is sitting right here in front of me, but we're doing six minute microwave caramels right now. This is one of the recipes in the book, and this would be such a great neighbor gift. Oh yeah, it's so easy and it's so versatile also. So caramel's my favorite. I like it more than chocolate. And I've never dared to make it on my own. No, you can't. Okay, so show me how to do it, Trisha. Okay, so everything's a half cup. So you do a half cup butter. I like to do salted, and then I don't have to use salt. Keep your butter wrapper, and then you can put it, your rubber spatula on it. That's Oops. a great idea, so you don't put the spatula right on the counter. Exactly. Okay, so now we're doing a combo yeah. of the white and the brown sugar. Yeah, and then this is sweetened condensed milk, a half a cup. So mm -hmm. one can will do two. Um, two recipes of it. Is the butter softened to make this? Yeah, you should have it room temperature. If you don't, just put it in for 30 seconds. Okay. And then half a cup um, corn syrup, and then you put it in the microwave for two minutes, stir, put it in the microwave for two minutes, stir, put it in the microwave two minutes, and you'll know it's done because it will be kind of foamy and really bubbly and it will sizzle as you stir. So how many times do you typically do that process of in and out of the microwave? Three times. Three times. So you do six okay. minutes. So that's it. We've got our syrup, we've got our sugars, mm -hmm. our condensed milk and our butter, and that's, that's all we need to put in there. That's it. Okay, so our microwave is below here. Put that in there, Trisha. So when I made my... Um, Caramel when I was young, that my mom would watch me like a hawk and she'd be like, You can't touch the side or it's gonna go sugary. And I didn't believe her. You know how we're talking about Yes. <laughs> and so I would do it sometimes and it would always like make it go sugary. So and wait, don't touch the sides. If you're doing it on the stove, but this, no problem. This is no problem. Yeah. So I love that you found an easier way to do it. So oh, take yeah. it out, stir. Can yep. you burn it? Probably if you cooked it more than the six minutes, if you kept going. Okay, just the six minutes. Yeah. And what does it look like when we're finished? It looks right like this. And I'm going to teach you how to roll it if you want. Okay, yeah. So I grab would love one. To. So you use like a little piece of wax paper. Okay, so wait, you poured our mixture into yeah. a pan, and then how long until this comes together? Wait about an hour. About an hour. That'll okay, be and it good. Looks like this. And, and then, then you then cut just, a little piece. Yep, and just wrap it up. And then the trick is you twist opposite directions. Okay, so Trisha, this is just wax paper. That's it's what just we're wax using. paper. And twist in opposite directions. Yep. And when it's done, if you want to add a half a cup to a cup of cream, then you can make caramel sauce or you can, um, I liked, my family always made turtles growing up where you put the pecan down and then the right. caramel and then the dip layering. it. But I just put the chopped caramels, that front one, the little squares, I just put the chopped pecans in there, stir it, put it in a pan, let it cool some and just pour chocolate over Trisha, it. is that this one right here? That's that one. Look yeah. how cute those are. You could do a combination of different desserts for your neighbor gift yeah. idea. This reminds me of Festival of the Trees happening this week, doesn't it? I mean, this yeah. is like something homemade that you would get there, and it just means so much more yeah. when you make it yourself. Yeah, and this only cost $3.44 to make a pound and a quarter. That's even cheaper than the little plastic covered caramels you can get in the I'm store. I'm so glad you said that because right now everybody's spending a lot of money on gifts, and yeah. so it's nice to save a little bit. Do you make this for neighbors every year? So, yeah, we usually do good will, plates. Will they be getting this book with it this year? <laughs> I hope so. Congratulations. <laughs> this, by the way, is her very first novel. It's called Death of a Lonely Bachelor. Where did you get the idea for the book? I don't even remember how I got the idea for this one. I had an idea for a different one first, but I wanted them to do puzzles and I don't know. It just came together. It just came like together, and I love that she like intertwines food into the pages of the book because then you get the recipes for things she's talked about at the end. How many recipes? Nineteen. Nineteen different recipes. She lived in Thailand. Her favorite thing to cook is Thai food. We've been bonding during the commercial <laughs> break about how much we both love pad thai and curry. And there's a yellow curry recipe in here yes. that everybody needs. Exactly. Okay, get that out of the microwave. Stir so we can show our viewers okay. how you know when it's not quite done yet. Yeah. But it needs that, what, four more minutes in the microwave? Yeah, so this it will just be, everything will be melted. And then the next time it will be slightly brown. Right now it's really yellow. And then, and then it then turns the a little bit more brown the next yeah, time. Yeah, it's so bubbly um, the last time. And you just know it's done. But if you want, you can do a thermometer and it will be softball stage between 245 and 250. Trisha, I can't wait to try homemade caramel at home. That's something I've never done before. If you want to try it, everybody, she was nice enough to give us the recipe, abc4.com slash GTU. It will all be right there. And where can people get your book? 
Um, they can go to my website or they can go to Amazon. TrishaSimpson.com is the website and she's also on social media and she also has a big birthday coming up, which is my same age <laughs> yes. in February, so I love her already. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy Very soon to you. you. Thank you. Okay, Bree, you're 1991